So we know we can't factor any one, I don't know, factor from all four of these terms. But what we can then try is factoring by grouping. So let's look at these two first. Looks like I can factor out an x squared, which leaves me with an x minus 2. And then I'm going to add this to, I'm going to factor out from these two. Actually, I'm going to factor out a negative 3, which leaves me with x minus 2. And that's great because now we can factor out the x minus 2. And we're left with x squared minus 3. That is all for now. If that 3 were a perfect square, we would want to factor that out. But uh, until we go over some radicals, no need.